In the heart of the Himalayas, a legend has persisted for centuries, a tale of a creature as elusive as it is terrifying, the Yeti. This behemoth, often described as an ape-like figure standing at an intimidating height and covered in thick snowy white fur, is a symbol deeply rooted in the folklore of the mountain-dwelling communities. The Yeti, or the abominable snowman as it is often referred to in the West, holds a place of reverence and fear among the locals. It's not just a bedtime story to scare children or a tale to keep the adventurous from wandering too far into the unknown. To the inhabitants of the Himalayas, the Yeti is a part of their daily lives, a creature that guards the sacred mountains, a symbol of the unpredictable and untamed nature that surrounds them. This creature of legend is not confined to the snow-capped mountains of Asia. The allure of the Yeti has crossed borders, sparking intrigue and fascination worldwide. From the bustling streets of New York to the quaint corners of London, the Yeti has found a place in popular culture, inspiring movies, books, and even video games. Scientists and adventurers alike have been drawn to the Himalayas, armed with cameras, traps, and an insatiable curiosity. Many have claimed to have seen the Yeti, to have found footprints in the snow, or to have heard its haunting cry in the dead of night. Yet, despite the numerous expeditions and the countless hours spent in search, the Yeti remains an enigma. As we delve into the chronicles of the Yeti, we find ourselves questioning, is this creature of Himalayan folklore merely a myth, a figment of imagination fed by the isolation and harsh conditions of the mountains? Or is there a grain of truth to these tales, a reality hidden in the shadows of the towering peaks? This legendary creature steeped in mystery has been cited by many, but what do we actually know about the Yeti? Travel back in time with us as we delve into the historical accounts of the Yeti. The Yeti, often referred to as the Abominable Snowman, is deeply entrenched in the folklore of the Himalayan regions. But its story begins much earlier with the earliest recorded mentions dating back to the pre-Buddhist era. The indigenous Lepcha people revered a glacial being, a deity they believed to be the god of the hunt. As centuries rolled on, explorers from the west began to traverse the treacherous Himalayan terrain. The mid-19th century saw the Yeti's narrative intertwining with these explorers' tales. British mountaineer Charles Howard Berry during his 1921 Everest expedition encountered large footprints in the snow. The Sherpa guides accompanying him attributed these to Mito Kang Mi, roughly translating to Man Bear Snowman. Misinterpretations led to the term Abominable Snowman, a moniker that has since stuck. The 20th century saw a flurry of Yeti-related activity. In the 1950s, a series of expeditions were launched, primarily to investigate the existence of this elusive creature. These explorations brought back intriguing evidence like footprints, hair samples, and even alleged photographs. In the latter half of the 20th century, the Yeti's image began to undergo a transformation. It morphed from a fearsome creature into a symbol of environmental conservation. The Yeti's habitat, the majestic Himalayas, were increasingly recognized as an ecological hotspot requiring urgent protection. Fast forward to the 21st century, the Yeti remains an enigma. It has transcended its mythical status to become a cultural icon featuring in movies, video games, and literature. It's a testament to how the Yeti has captured the human imagination and continues to do so. Modern science has attempted to demystify the Yeti with DNA studies suggesting that the creature might be a type of bear. But for many, the allure of the Yeti lies in its mystery. As we have seen, the Yeti's story has evolved over time, but the fascination remains the same. The year 1951 marked a significant chapter in the Yeti's tale, the discovery of the Shipton footprints. In the shadows of the world's highest peak, Mount Everest, British explorer Eric Shipton embarked on an expedition that would forever etch his name in the annals of Yeti history. As he ventured through the icy wilderness, he stumbled upon a curious sight that would ignite a global fascination with the mythical Yeti. Shipton and his team found a set of footprints in the snow, markedly different from any other animal tracks they had encountered. These footprints were large, broad, and had a distinctive shape, measuring about 13 inches long and 8 inches wide. What set them apart was their uncanny resemblance to human footprints, but of a size and breadth that suggested a creature of formidable size. The footprints bore five toes, much like a human, but the toes were elongated and the thumb was set wider apart, hinting at a creature that was bipedal but not quite human. 
The depth of the imprint suggested a heavy creature far beyond the weight of an average man. Shipton's discovery sent shockwaves through the scientific community and beyond. Skeptics argued that the footprints could be a result of overlapping tracks of smaller animals or even a bear's footprints distorted by the melting snow. But for those intrigued by the existence of the Yeti, the Shipton footprints offered tangible, albeit puzzling, evidence of the creature's existence. The footprints were photographed and the images disseminated worldwide. The photos showed a pickaxe placed next to the footprints for scale, emphasizing their extraordinary size. These images fueled a global fascination for the Yeti, leading to numerous expeditions to the Himalayas in search of the elusive creature. The Shipton footprints remain one of the most compelling pieces of evidence in the Yeti's lore. They gave a face, or rather a foot, to the Yeti and stirred a global interest in the creature. The Shipton footprint stirred a global interest in the Yeti, setting the stage for more encounters. Fast forward to 1959 and we find ourselves in a monastery in Pangbok, home to the intriguing Pangbosh Hand. This relic, said to be the hand of a Yeti, was held in high esteem by the monks of the monastery who believed in the existence of the elusive creature. The hand was said to be large, with powerful fingers and covered in a coarse dark hair, much like the descriptions of the Yeti itself. But the story of the Pangbosh hand takes a twist when it was allegedly stolen. According to the tale, a man named Peter Byrne, funded by an oil tycoon with an interest in cryptozoology, took the hand under the cover of darkness. He replaced it with a human hand, hoping the monks wouldn't notice the switch. With the stolen hand, Byrne hoped to prove the existence of the Yeti once and for all. His plan was to get the hand examined scientifically and thus bring the Yeti out of the realm of myths and into the light of empirical evidence. The stolen hand was smuggled out of Nepal and into India from where it made its way to London. There it was studied by primatologist William Charles Osman Hill. His initial observations suggested that the hand was indeed unique, not matching any known primate species. This was the breakthrough Byrne had hoped for a tangible piece of evidence supporting the existence of the Yeti. However, further analysis in the following years brought a different conclusion. Using more advanced techniques, scientists found the hand to be human, not the hand of an unknown primate. The Pangbosh hand, it seemed, was not the smoking gun Byrne had hoped for. Yet, the story of the Pangbosh hand remains a fascinating chapter in the Yeti lore. It's a tale of intrigue and ambition of a man's quest to prove the existence of a creature that has captivated the human imagination for centuries. The Pangboch hand added a new tangible element to the Yeti's legend, fueling further investigations. In recent years, Yeti sightings have become less frequent, but the quest to uncover the truth continues. Let's delve into some of the more recent sightings of this elusive creature. One of the most notable occurred in the early 2000s when a group of trekkers in Nepal reported seeing a large, hairy creature moving swiftly through the snow-covered forests. Despite their attempts to capture it on film, all they managed was a blurry image that only added to the enigma. Then, in 2012, a team of British scientists embarked on a mission to analyze supposed Yeti samples using DNA testing. They collected hair samples from various sources, including the infamous Yeti scalp in the Kumjung Monastery and the remains of a Yeti found in the Indian state of Sikkim. Their results were as intriguing as they were puzzling. To everyone's surprise, the tests revealed that the samples belonged to an ancient polar bear dating back around 40,000 years. This led to a theory that the Yeti could be a hybrid or a subspecies of brown bear and polar bear, a creature that could have evolved in the harsh Himalayan environment. But not everyone was convinced. Critics pointed out that DNA testing is not infallible and that contamination could have skewed the results. Moreover, the findings didn't explain the bipedal tracks often associated with Yeti sightings. The scientific community remained skeptical, and the debate around the Yeti's existence continues. Some argue that the Yeti is nothing more than a myth, perpetuated by local folklore and overactive imaginations. Others, however, believe that there's enough anecdotal evidence to suggest that there might be an undiscovered creature lurking in the Himalayas. Despite the dwindling sightings and inconclusive evidence, the allure of the Yeti remains as strong as ever. The search for this enigmatic creature continues, fueled by human curiosity and the tantalizing possibility of uncovering a new species. 
As the mystery of the Yeti continues to unfold, one thing is certain. The allure of this mythical creature is far from over.